Hello and welcome to In The News Series 2 Episode 4. This week I'll be looking at the EU referendum and other news. So let's crack on with round 1. What does VPBM stand for? Is it... Virgin Prick Bums Matt LeBlanc? Or is it Vile Prick Bastard Motherfucker? No, it was Viewers Plummet by 1.5 million. Yeah, Sunday's episode of Top Gear only got 2.8 million. No, sorry. Yes, 2.8 million. So it lost out on 1.5 million viewers. I'm going to admit, I was one of them 2.8 million who watched it to see if it improved. Not going to lie, the challenge was good. I was entertained by the challenge, but still they need to work on their presenting. But I do think the challenges have improved. Anyway, let's move on. Why has this lady been in the news this week? Is it she reckons she can do a better job than Chris Evans on Top Gear? She's doing sort of like a, a funny smirk in this picture. So is she thinking, David Cameron, huh, what a wanker. Or is she thinking, oh, when will Philip make a pass on me? No, it was Holly has a go at Britain's most shameful mum. Yes, Holly Willoughby has been in the news this week uh, for basically having a go at Britain's most shameful mum. Now this woman has got 12 kids and she's on a campaign wanting a sperm donor for this 13th child that she wants. Basically she works 16 hours a week as a cleaner just to, just to avoid the benefits cap which means they'll cut her benefits. She gets £40,000 a year in benefits plus her cleaner money and she is having more children so she gets more money but she says she's actually addicted to having babies. So, if I was in government, I'd cut her benefits completely and make her get a job which is more than 16 hours a week and um, see if she improves her lifestyle because bringing 13 kids into the country or into the world just for money, that's, that's wrong. And basically, Holly asked her, how do you sleep at night? And the whole news blew up like everyone was saying I know Holly's wrong how could she ask something like that when actually she was completely right now let's move on to the next one or is it how long should David Cameron been a president or prime minister for now if 15 days is the answer what is the question is it how long does it take to find a good porno. Is it what is after 14 days? Or is it how many days in the whole year is actually sunny in the United Kingdom? Is it in the story Noah's Ark it says it rained for 40 nights and 40 days but was the author of the Bible exaggerating and actually rained for 15 days? Or is it, how many days in a whole year do I not offend anybody? The correct answer is 15 days until the EU referendum. Yes, the EU referendum is in 15 days and that is one of the reasons why I moved this week's video later. So it's a day later because of the live debate last night between... between Nigel Farage, leader of UKIP, and David Cameron, the Prime Minister and leader of the Conservatives. And they were having a debate, and Nigel was basically saying that, yes, we need to leave, yes, nothing can basically get worse, and, you know, we need to c take control and take our country back, and we can do that if we leave. And then David Cameron comes on, says all he needs to say, basically, he's talking out of his ass. And someone asks him the question of, look Cameron, you said last time, well the main reason this 
referendum is happening is because you wanted to leave the EU. He said, yes, but I don't anymore. And someone said, well, your closing statement last week was, if we stay, if we leave the EU, we can survive. And he actually said, well, yes, we can survive. So basically, his, uh, his campaign isn't really going well, if he's even now saying that we can survive when he wants us to stay. And at the end, someone asked him a question which we knew he couldn't answer. And he got totally mugged off because he couldn't answer it. Therefore, the woman who was hosting it said, right, we'll leave it there. So I think Nigel Farage, he was getting clapped all evening. And then David Cameron was getting clapped because the audience mugged him off. And uh, I find that very funny. So I think Britain will exit the EU. And I really hope we do. Also in the news this week, there was, there's was there been a murder investigation about someone who got shot about five times. And actually, uh, one, of the, one of the witnesses is a parrot. Yes, a parrot was uh, shouting repeatedly, don't fucking shoot, to this bloke who kept on shooting his, uh, the parrot's owner. So a parrot is now in a murder investigation. So what a lovely note to leave you all on because I am out of time this week we've talked about Holly Willoughby David Cameron Nigel Farage the EU referendum and how bad Top Gear is getting see you next week goodbye <laughs>